Welcome to Nigel's mobile application tutorials. My name's Nigel. In this tutorial, we're going to be following on from the previous tutorial where we took a photo. In this tutorial, we're going to actually display the image that was captured by the camera application that we called in the previous tutorial. Okay, so let's make a start. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to go back to my layout. Now, I want to add a, a new view called an image view to the layout. That view will contain the image that was taken by the camera application. So basically I'm going to add a new view to the layout. I'm going to go into the text tab down here. And add an image view. So the width, I just want to take up the whole width of the screen. So I'm going to um, match parent. I'm going to do the same for the height as well. Now what I want to do here is um, I want to position the image view to be on just above the button itself. So because we've got a relative layout here, we can position the child views to the layout. We can position them in comparison to another view. So for example, we can say, I want this view to be on top of another view. And this example is going to be our button view. <coughs> I'm going to use layout above. And the ID of the button view, I want to stick it above, is photo button. Save that. Let's go to the design. So here we can see our image view is above our take photo button, which is what we want in this case. Right, now that I've created an image view in the layout itself, the next step here is to connect to it in our activity and then we'll be able to feed the photo taken by the camera application back into this image view. So let's go into our activity. First thing I want to do is create a image view variable. Now I want to initialize this variable with the actual image view we defined in the layout. Need to cast it first. So we can find we can find the view we want inside this activity by using this command. Find view by ID and uh, ID and we haven't yet given our view an ID so let's go back into the layout and do that. And the text is probably easiest. Um, 
let's just call it capture photo image view is my ID. Back into our activity. Here it is here. So we've now initialized our variable inside the activity with the actual image view we wanted from the layout. Okay, the next step is if we go back to our on activity result, this intent that's been returned to us from the camera application activity, this actually contains um, a thumbnail bitmap data of the photo that was taken. So it's like a, a small thumbnail is actually contained in here. So we can use that to actually assign to our bitmap to display the picture that was taken. So first things first is this comment out the toast, we don't need that. Okay, so I've got the data here, so we just need to sort of unravel it a bit just to get the raw binary data, uh, bitmap data. So that, that's an intent. We've got a thing called a bundle, which is a way of collecting data in Android. So I'm going to call this extras equals data dot get extras. So I've now collected that into a formatable a formatable type of data. And from the extras bundle, we can now get the uh, bitmap data from it that we can assign to our image view. First of all, we need to create a bitmap to feed into the image view. I'll call it photo I'm going to need to cast this to a bitmap and it's going to be extras get and the field is going to be data so this will actually get a thumb, the thumbnail that was returned by the camera activity it's just a small thumbnail of the actual image we took we've now got a hold of that in the format of bitmap and once you've got the bitmap, it's just a simple matter of setting that bitmap to your image view like this. So I am photo captured image view. We go set image bitmap and the name of the bitmap M. Oh, M photo captured. Photo captured bitmap. Okay, and that, that should be it. So let's run this on the actual device itself and see what happens. And as usual, I'm going to uh, record what's happening on the Nexus device. Start recording. Applications running here, so let's select take photo just once. It's my setup here. Just waiting for the camera application to start up. Okay, I'm just going to take a photo of the green cup. Accept that, and there it is. There, the, applica the camera applications return back to our. Um, activity application activity and the bitmap data that we've supplied from it is gone into the image view showing up here just like this I'm not too sure if this photo is in focus or not that could either be the camera or the limited data we have from the thumbnail bitmap returned by the camera application okay let's stop recording okay as usual Let's step through the changes we made just to reinforce what we actually put in there. Uh, shut, close the camera application. I'm going to run this oh, before I run this in here. Okay, I've got the two previous breakpoints we left in, 
in here from the last tutorial. I'm going to remove this one. It's not pertinent, but let's keep this one in here and just step through the code changes we made. So let's run that in debug mode. Applications now running. Click the take photo button, start the camera application. Take photo. Accept that. We've now stopped at the breakpoint here. So the first thing here is just checking for the actual original start activity request we made and checking that that was successful. Stepping down here is where we get the bundle of data from this intent data here. And from that bundle of data, we can extract a bitmap from that, as we do here. And then it's a matter of assigning the bitmap to the image view that we created in the layout, just to display the image. And complete that. And we have the image being displayed here. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, in this tutorial we just learned how to extract data from a activity that we've called that's been returned back to us in the form of bundles. We've been introduced to bitmaps for the first time and we've seen how we could sort of build a bitmap from the data that's been returned back by the intent. And then we also learned about creating an image view and a layout and then assigning bitmap to the image view and showing that on the display. So that's it for this short paced tutorial. Um, again, we're not quite yet finished here. There's some important features that we're going to show you in the next one or two tutorials after that. And then that will probably be it to the end of this mini series. So if you like, subscribe, keep up to date with all my tutorials. Got lots to make. And yeah, that's all for this one. Bye for now. And again, we're going to record that. Take a photo of the cup of green tea. And there we have it. We've got this image is a full size image taken from the actual camera application. Different to the previous tutorial, which was just a small thumbnail bitmap. So now we've got a nice large image being displayed in our display there, which completes this part of the tutorial. So let me stop recording.